Uh, Johnny DL here, welcome to Bits and Bobs Thursday. Um, like I said yesterday, I will be talking about some crafty type stuff that I do. Mainly using this, this stuff, which is wool. Um, uh, it may not seem like a sort of thing that men do an awful lot, but um, wool craft is something that I do have a bit of a passion for in in some ways because um well i, I cropped up on bullcraft a, a number of different times um when i was at primary school um is the most notice notable then whilst i was at high school i attempted to knit a scarf um and then um, i think two two and a half years ago i came across a project called the Crochet Coral Reef um, and it doesn't sound like something that makes any sense I mean making a coral reef out of wool now a coral reef is like the Great Barrier Reef it is a huge underwater thing it, um, full of life and animals and plants and all sorts of good stuff and making something like that out of wall for a museum or an art gallery doesn't seem like the most sensible thing in the world but it came to me as part of something mathematical um, and the fact that you have three type, types of geometry you have um, Euclidean geometry or planar geometry which is um, sort of geometry you do on a flat piece of paper um, and there are certain sets of rules for that um, and then there's another set of rules for um, sort of what's it spherical geography um, not geography spherical geometry so um, the obvious way of describing a set of, uh, describing that spherical ge geography is different from um, planar is triangles um, if you have a triangle, normally you will have all of the flat pieces, all the uh, corners of your triangle add up to 180. Um, and you, you can prove that. You can get out a, a, you can draw three lines on a piece of paper and get out a protractor and add, a, add it up. And um, other than your measuring errors, you will get 180. Um, as long as the sides are straight and the piece of paper is flat. Um, with spherical geography, um, well, let's imagine me and you walk f um, from the North Pole, and we both walk south, 90 degrees to each other. We come to the equator, we both turn 90 degrees, uh, I turn left, you turn right, and we meet up. And there you've got... Um, three 90 degree corners in a triangle which do obviously doesn't add up to 180 it adds up to 270 um, so you for your triangles you've got uh, all sorts of interesting things happen um, so yeah that that's spherical geography um, and then you've got this um, well the the other sort of geography which is really hard to describe um, unless you see it um, the, if you think of a piece of paper it's flat and a, a ball is just a piece of paper that has got smaller and smaller and smaller as you've got away from the um, got away from the center it hasn't increased at a steady rate so to speak um, so that's how that happens but the, the other sort of geometry gets bigger and more wavy and you get more and more stuff from it um, every time you take a step away and that's where we come to this thing now the light is very bright here um, it's, it's daylight I'm using um, but as you can see this is very crinkly um, and if I take a section, you'll see that actually that's p 
part of a circle. Um, it, it seems like there's a circle bit there and then it gets crinkly towards the edge rather than, so there we go. <laughs> if, you, if you can see it, it's not brilliant. Um, and you can do that pretty much anywhere on here. Um, the, the same sort of size piece, no matter where you pick, pick, you will always get that sort of circle with crinkly edges. Um, or semicircle with crinkly edges. And it, it, it's non-Euclidean geometry. Um, and there, there isn't a way of explaining this with triangles that's really easy. But there is a way of explaining this with parallel lines that is really easy. Now, if you draw a pair of parallel lines on the Earth, um, in fact, we'll, we'll pick some that um, are parallel. It, um, let's think of the uh, all, all of the north-south lines. Now, that they are parallel, aren't they? Um, when you're at the equator, all of the north-south lines are 90 degrees to, uh, to the equator. So you would consider that parallel um, when compared to flat geometry. But they all meet at the north and south pole. Um, so those parallel lines are circles that all cross each other. Now, parallel lines on a flat piece of paper, well, you have one line... And if you choose a point and then you go, I want a parallel line through that point, there is only one line. With this sort of object, you can draw one line and pick a point anywhere on it. And you can draw an infinite number of other lines that go through it. And I find that really interesting. Um, and like, so that's how I came across it. And yeah, I've spent hours and hours and hours doing this and it's so relaxing and it's huge really um, it, it, it's like bigger than my head at the moment and i've not finished on it like, like you saw i've got a, another ball of wall i'm working through um but uh, i thought i'd mention that because it it, it, it i fetched it from my mom's house it's something that i find really interesting and i thought i would share with you guys um I don't know if I'll be able to put up a link to the TED video on the crochet coral reef, but um, if I can, I will. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's that. Um, other than that, I think that's everything for today. I've gone for quite a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue working on this and you might see it in photos sooner or later um, so yeah that's everything um, check out Twitter Google Plus um, Ask FM actually ask me as many questions as you like on Ask FM I think I'm gonna make Mondays at um, AMA Mondays so that I can have something scheduled for that and then yeah that's it. Um, Johnny Dale, out.